Good morning, I'm Christy Diaz. Thanks for joining us. We are expecting to learn more details about the kidnapping of a one year old boy, that child at the center of an Amber Alert on Saturday when authorities say he was taken at gunpoint while out for a walk with his mother in Chambly. Hours later, he was found in Carroll County safe, but now the two suspects are in jail facing kidnapping charges. They are expected to go before a judge later today. Next start event has details on the next steps with this case. It was an emotional reunion on Saturday. I don't know who they are, I don't know how they even came up to this area. We don't know what their intentions were. One year old Mateo Montefor Barrera's aunt says the family doesn't know why someone would kidnap him. The two accused of the crime, Maynard Dario Valera Zaninga and Kristen Nicole Valera Zaninga. In just a couple of hours, Chambly police, along with other agencies, including the FBI and GBI, are expected to give updates at a press conference. Police told us over the weekend the alleged kidnappers were arrested more than 60 miles away from Chambly in Carrollton. Police say they held Mateo's mother at gunpoint in front of their home then ripped him from his stroller Saturday afternoon. Mateo's mother doing everything she could to protect her son. By the evening, officers were able to find little Mateo unharmed with the two people who were arrested. We also learned that the couple even changed the boy into a dress in an attempt to disguise him. Often the children are not found his fast, so we're so grateful for the authorities. Sarah Copen, the executive director of local nonprofit, The Hope Box, which helps rescue children in need, says oftentimes cases like this don't have these endings. 75% of our most at-risk children are ages three and under. About 50% of those are just zero to one. So you're talking infants are the most at risk for abandoned, neglect, and abuse. 